What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cornar? Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review, another special Kickstarter review. And today, I'm very excited to check out Jobstacle, the hilarious hiring game. This is for ages 17 plus. It's for three to eight players. It'll take, uh, say, about 20 to 30 minutes to play. And in Jobstacle, you are going to be potentially a hiring manager trying to fill a job. Everyone else at the table is going to be trying to fill your job with the best possible candidate. But then they're also going to try and sabotage other candidates or strengthen their candidates in this party game. But does it separate itself from the rest of the party games? Let's open it up and I'll tell you. Alright then, we're taking a look at it. Job Schools, the hilarious hiring game. Before we get started, I do want to mention this is the promotional copy I have in front of you. So take everything you see here with a grain of salt. So in Job Schools, you are going to be trying to appease a judge who's trying to fill a certain position. You're going to try and fill that position by playing one of these cards out of your hand to fill that position, and then you're going to mix those up, reveal them all, and then you're also going to reveal, uh, play a jobstacle either to make someone's, uh, make one of the jobs look better or worse. What am I talking about? We'll go over how the game works and you'll quickly understand what I'm talking about. So first of all, we've got a handy dandy little rule card. It is just one card. It's very short, sweet, to the point, concise, and it's very well done. Now I will mention that this does not tell you how to win the game. It tells you how to win points, but it doesn't tell you how many points to go to, which is going to annoy some people, but I think it really fits with what kind of game this is. This game is more about having fun and less about, you know, winning, losing, keeping score, all that sort of thing. But it's clear, concise, and to the point. Before we get started, I also do want to mention that they include a lot of blank cards that you are able to fill in. Some people love these, some people hate these. That is uh, that is completely up to you. Next, there are going to be two kinds of cards. You're going to have jobs, and then you're going to have jobstacles. Now, jobs are just going to be different jobs that the uh, either the person is trying to fill or that you are trying to fill that position with. So, cemetery gardener, marathon runner, jewel thief, used car salesperson, luxury sports car mechanic, tennis instructor, professional golf caddy, chiropractor, professional gambler, so on and forth, so forth. You get the idea. Lots of different diverse jobs. Next, you're going to have this jobstacle pile over here, which is going to be something that most of the time is going to be a bad trait that is uh, that that is attached to your person that is trying to get the job. So, thinks the moon landing was fake. Choose women when asked what is the biggest problem in society. Sweats profusely. Thinks TV sitcoms are real life. Sleeps with real stuffed animals. Dumped you in high school. Can't talk about staring at the ground. Insists on using a private bathroom. Smells terrible. Keeps calling you Cindy during the interview. Brings a loaded gun to the interview. So on and so forth. So uh, all these people are trying to fill these jobs. And I'll show you how this works. So essentially you're going to decide who is the first person who's going to be the judge. And that person will flip over, boom, a card. So they're trying to find a second string quarterback in this particular scenario. Next, each player is going to be dealt three black cards, three job school cards, and they're also going to be dealt three white cards, three job cards. Now, each player is going to secretly lay down which of the cards they think is most likely to win that particular job. So we got an admissions counselor, we got a makeup artist, and we have a lunch lady. This is a particularly bad one. So lunch lady, probably not going to work. Makeup artist, uh, yeah, that could work. Very meticulous, uh, detail-oriented, which is very important when you're a, a quarterback. So you might play that one. We'll also put some random ones down here. We'll put, say, we'll play, it's a five-player game. So one, two, three, four, five. So what's going to happen now is this person is going to mix up all these jobs right here. And then he's going to read them out loud one by one. So I'm looking for a second-string quarterback. Who are my applicants? First, I have a team mascot. That seems to make sense because, well, I mean, he's, he sees all the people play and sees all the practices. That's a perfect fit. That's a really good card. Uh, we have a tattoo artist. Not quite sure about that one. Maybe he could tattoo all the audibles on his arms. Maybe that could be helpful. I don't know. Uh, a divorce lawyer. I don't know. We got a neurosurgeon because he can pick apart the defense. He can, like a surgeon, they say that. And of course we have my makeup artist. Now what each player is going to do is they're going to take a job school out of their hand and they're going to play it on one of these cards. So they're going to look at their hand and say, which one of these particular things is going to uh, either make a better one, uh, a weak one stronger, or a strong one weaker? So, you'll start to the left of the judge, and then you have the option to play one of these cards on one of these things. So, let's look what we have. 
owns a large collection of historical white power propaganda materials, refuses to bathe, and is secretly in love with your spouse. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and put this on the team mascot. Because the thing about the second string quarterback is he has a lot of free time on his hand, and you really don't want to hire a guy who's secretly in love with your spouse and has a lot of free time on your hands when you are in a very, uh, you know, you're a very busy job being a coach of a team. I'm assuming we're talking with a coach. We'll see what else we got here. Dresses all in black, the tattoo artist. Oh, that's really not such a big deal. We have plans to donate all the inc income to controversial political causes you don't support. Yeah, will we'll the makeup artist do that? So let's just say we did all that. Everyone's going to draw back up to three cards after the judge has selected their favorite or the one that they think would fill the job best. So divorce lawyer, probably not going to happen. The team mascot was a great choice, but now that he's in love with your spouse, he's probably going to end up, yeah, we know what's going to happen there. Tattoo artist dresses all in black. Yeah, that's just kind of weird. So you know what? He might actually go with a neurosurgeon. You know, somebody who's very meticulous, pays attention to details, can take apart a defense, ready at a moment's notice, is always on call. So yeah, he'd put a neurosurgeon, which means that person's going to get the card, which is AKA a victory point. You will select another person to be the uh, the judge. They will flip over a card. Everybody's now back up to three cards, three cards, and now we're looking for an actor slash waiter, which. Stinks we got rid of our makeup artist card. But anywho, you'd continue to do that until you go to X amount of points, and whoever has the most points will be the winner of Jobsticles. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Alright, and then Jobsticles coming to a Kickstarter to you very, very soon. I'll be sure to post the Kickstarter link down below. What are my final thoughts? Let's go to the pros, let's go to the counts. First, in the content of the game is not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. The first and obvious one is this is a party game, pure and simple. It's a non gamey party game. This is the kind of thing, a very casual, which is going to be a turn off some people. Also, it feels similar to other party games in this ilk. Your cards against humanity, your apples to apples, your help wanted, your fun employed. It feels very similar to that where there's going to be a judge who's going to have a problem then you're going to try and fix that problem with a card. Now this one does have the twist and turns with the job schools which does differentiate it somewhat but still it does feel a little bit samey. Another big con I have with this game is the fact that you're going to run into the problem where you'll be looking at the three jobs in your hand and be like none of these I think are really going to win this round which is a problem. A which is exacerbated in this game because you're only going to have three jobs in your hand at a time. So you're going to have that issue where you're going to have to just throw away cards. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to throw away the weakest card because I don't think that one's ever going to win. Now, you can house rule that. We did so that you have more cards in your hand. But at the same time, the decks are relatively small for a game like this. I think there's only 170 cards in the deck. not quite sure if that includes the, uh, the blank cards they include. But that is a little bit of a problem that is going to bug some people. It won't happen the first game or two, but I imagine if you play this numerous, numerous, numerous times, you'd start to see the same things over and over again, but uh, for some people it's not a big deal, for me personally, not a big deal, but just wanted to mention that. Any other cons I have with this game, they went with the minimalist style when it came to artwork, which some people is going to think is lazy, but there's a lot of games like that in this genre that do that as well. Any other cons? Not really anything to think of, because moving on to the pros, Jobsicles, the hilarious hired game is just that. It's a funny, light, quick gateway game. That's exactly what this is. They knew who their audience was and they went for it. So if you're in the market for a humorous game that you can bust out, have a couple drinks, have some fun, laugh, get some inside jokes here and there, maybe get a little bit of inappropriate humor, this one's definitely going to be for you. Now that's another thing I forgot to mention on the comments. There's some inappropriate stuff in here. Now we're not talking cards against humanity or help wanted inappropriate, but there's the you know, risque sort of stuff. Uh, so it kind of straddles that thin line. But what did I like about it in particular? I like the job school part of it. I really did because even if you had a weak job, there might be a card in your hand that can strengthen someone else's card and or can make some, a really good candidate really bad with some of the job schools, which is uh, pretty funny. I really like the job school element to it. Even though I will say sometimes it feels like it's a little bit of a tell when you strengthen something, when you strengthen someone's job and they're like, oh, I bet that's you. But that's really not a huge deal because this is the kind of game where it's more about having fun and less about keeping score, which is evident by the fact that the score, <laughs> that the little, uh, the little card that tells you how to play the game has no way of winning the game. I mean, you collect cards to win the game, but it doesn't actually tell you how many you need to do in order to win the game, which is actually kind of a good thing. Because in a game like this, you just make up some arbitrary number based on how many people you're playing playing with, and so that's a good thing. Another thing I liked is that this does accommodate a large group of people. It says three to eight, but let's be brutally honest, you got a bunch of people around a dinner table, you're drinking, you probably play 10, 11, no problem with this sort of thing. 
So overall, Job School's The Hilarious Hiring Game is exactly what you think it's going to be. It's a, it's a party game. It's a humorous party game that I worry about how many cards are in it, but it's still a lot of fun and you'll have a good deal of laughs with it. So that is Job School's The Hilarious Hiring Game coming to a Kickstarter to you very, very soon. It looks like it might be your cup of tea. Be sure to check out the Kickstarter link down below. Tell them Bowers Game Corner sent you. In the comments below, let me know what has been the weirdest thing that has ever happened to you on a job. Well, I can't really think of the weirdest one right now. I remember when I was a camp counselor, and uh, <laughs> um, I was a camp counselor, and it was, you know, you might have heard, seen the TV shows with camps where the, the, the counselors are all crazy and stuff. Well, we were kind of like that. And uh, the, the big, the, the boss of the camp found a bottle of liquor, liqueur, I believe it was, and uh, he, he took us all out in the middle of this field, and he set it on a stump, and then he took a sword, and he said, <laughs> and he's like, if I ever find out whose liquor that was, that'll be you. <laughs> and we all were like, because <gasps> this guy was this guy was a little bit crazy. But but in hindsight, it's actually somewhat humorous slash really super creepy. But either way, let me know in the comments below what's the most humorous thing that's happened at your job. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.